Okay, it's time for a pacifier pop quiz for you parents out there. So, your child's pacifier falls on the ground. Which is healthier? Should you A, sterilize it, B, wash it off in the sink, or C, pop it in your mouth? Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is joining us now with the answer. And for some people, it may actually gross them out. Yes, Sharon, <laughs> they may get a little queasy on this, mm -hmm. but the correct answer is C, clean it off in your mouth. Because researchers at Henry Ford Health System in Detroit found that sharing pacifier germs with your baby may actually help your toddler avoid some common allergies down the road. But their findings are tough for one Atlanta mom to swallow. We need to lose this. Can I take it? Marquita Atkinson's 13-month-old Skylar has a big personality. And tests show some budding allergies. I felt like she was almost allergic to everything. It said milk, wheat, eggs, peanuts shrimp. Atkinson was puzzled because she's super careful about germs. If Skylar's pacifier falls out on the floor. I'm wiping it off with a baby wipe. I'm taking it to the sink. I have not done the put it in my mouth. I don't want the germs either. But at Thanksgiving, Atkinson's friend told her to stop running to the sink and pop Skylar's pacifier in her mouth to clean it. And I was like, gross. Why would I do something like that? And she was like, um, she's like, Marquita, just put it in your mouth. And I did, but it just felt wrong. It's all about the germs. Atlanta Allergy and Asthma's Dr. Kathleen Sheeran says as gross as it may sound, popping your baby's dirty pacifier in your mouth before handing it back may actually help stimulate the toddler's immune system, protecting against allergies later in life. Kids suck their thumb and crawl on the floor. So, Enough said. And Sharon says when you compare people who get little germ exposure early on to those who get lots. Those people who have multiple germ exposures during the first year of life tend to be less allergic than those who are the, I won't go so far as say germaphobe, but um, the people that, you know, a fork falls on the floor and would never pick it up. Let the pacifier drop on the floor, pick it up, put it in the mouth. That's what I would do. Marquita Atkinson says she's trying to follow the doctor's advice. She said germs are good, but uh, I'm just not there yet. <laughs> and the researchers found that toddlers whose parents sucked on their pacifiers had lower levels of an antibody that's known as IgE, which is linked to the development of allergies. That drop started at about 10 months of age and lasted until the kids were about a year and a half old. But will that protection last as they get older? The mm -hmm. researchers say we need to do more studies to find out. Hey, Sharon? You know what, Beth? I think I've seen some parents, I've seen some mothers oh, I've seen them who this, have yes. done that, just picked it up and just... And yes. stick it right back in that child's mouth. And as a childless, childless woman, I'm like this. <laughs> I know, like, <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, there's a science to it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, yeah. yeah. What is the takeaway for parents? So I think the takeaway is you do what feels comfortable for you. You know, if you're not going to be the mom that picks up the pacifier and puts it back, puts it in her mouth, puts it in her child's mouth, if you want to go wash it off, go wash it off. You know, just do what's right, but know you're not getting it wrong either way. Uh, and have there been any similar studies that show germs may actually be good for your baby? There have been, I mean, there have been, there was a recent study also that kind of, you know, sort of goes with this, but it said that um, kids who bite their nails, kids who suck their thumb, they actually have lower levels of developing allergies. Really? Yeah. I sucked my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> the overbite. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Beth. That's another story. <laughs> I know. It's a nice overbite. <laughs> Thank you.